There are many good reasons to go meat free, but you could run low in some key nutrients. Here's what to watch out for. Vitamin B12. Most Americans don't eat enough vegetables, so you'd think vegetarians and vegans would be the healthiest people around. It's true that reducing red meat consumption can lower your risk of heart disease, and eating a vegetarian diet may also lower your risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, and even cancer. But research, including a study published in 2016 in the journal Nutrients shows that vegetarians also run the risk of deficiencies in certain nutrients, notably not getting enough vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is important in maintaining appropriate brain functioning and blood flow throughout our bodies, and is mainly found in animal products, which is why someone following a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle may develop a deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency can manifest as the disease megaloblastic anemia, characterized by a low red blood cell count, with the red blood cells being larger than normal. Symptoms that may accompany anemia can include fatigue, weakness, constipation, not wanting to eat and weight loss. To make sure you're getting enough B12, try having nutritional yeast, fortified ready-to-eat cereals and soy milk, and if you eat some animal products, dairy, eggs, fish, and shellfish. Zinc. You may have heard that zinc is important in warding off colds, and in fact, this mineral plays a role in regulating the body's immune system. But it can be hard to get it naturally if you're a vegetarian. Since zinc is found in limited amounts in plant-based foods, and zinc absorption from plant-based foods is reduced, a deficiency can occur. A zinc deficiency may lead to an impaired immune system, slow wound healing, hair loss, diarrhea, and loss of appetite. Try foods such as fortified breakfast cereal, pumpkin seeds, yogurt, cashews and chickpeas, but keep in mind you may still need a supplement or multivitamin to get your daily dose. Iron, according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, iron is the most common nutritional deficiency and the leading cause of anemia in the United States. The body absorbs two to three times more iron from animal sources than plant sources, so vegetarians can have a hard time getting the iron they need. Iron has a very important role in transporting oxygen throughout our blood to maintain our energy levels. Symptoms of an iron deficiency include fatigue, dizziness, headache, pale skin, weakness, and sometimes cravings for weird things, like ice and dirt. Beans, lentils, spinach, fortified cereal as well as tofu. Cashews and fortified breakfast cereal are all loaded with iron. You may also need an iron supplement after consulting with your doctor. Omega-3 fatty acids. If you're a vegetarian but you eat fish, specifically fatty fish like salmon, tuna, or trout, you should be good on omega-3s. Among the many benefits of omega-3s is their important role in brain and eye function, anti-inflammatory properties, and ability to help lower cholesterol. To make sure you're getting enough, Consider a supplemental omega-3 look for high-quality sources that, if coming from seafood, have had purities such as mercury removed. Vitamin D Many Americans, especially in northern climates, are vitamin D deficient in the winter. The best source of vitamin D is the sun. Vitamin D contributes to good bone health and boosts the body's immune system, which is why it's important to have an adequate intake of it. Without it, you could have weakened bones as well as an increased risk for depression and diabetes. The problem with relying on food for vitamin D is that dietary vitamin D is provided in only a few food sources, of mainly animal origin. So it's one of the vitamins for vegetarians that's even harder to get enough of. Try eggs, cheese, salmon, tuna, and cow's milk and if you're vegan, try fortified orange juice, soy milk, cereal, and shiitake mushrooms. Calcium, you probably know that calcium is essential for building and maintaining strong bones. We usually think of dairy as the source for calcium, but there are others. Plant-based sources of calcium are not absorbed as well in the body, which can lead to a deficiency. Over time, low calcium can up your risk for weak bones and osteoporosis. In addition to dairy, natural sources include collard greens, turnip greens, kale, broccoli, and bok choy, as well as soybeans, chickpeas, black beans, and almonds. Protein. We associate protein with meat. So it may seem that deficiencies among vegetarians are common, but in fact, enough protein can easily be obtained in a veggie diet. Since plant-based protein sources are so abundant, a protein deficiency in those following a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle is rare. Plant-based protein sources typically contains more dietary fiber and less saturated fat compared to animal-based protein sources. It's important to be aware, 
However, that vegetarians and vegans need to consume more protein than their meat-eating counterparts because plant-based protein has lower digestibility than animal protein. Meals like bean burritos, tofu, vegetable stir-fry, and lentil chili are protein-packed options. Legumes, whole grains, soy, nuts, and seeds, as well as dairy and eggs, are good choices as well. Riboflavin. This B vitamin, aka B2 helps convert food into energy, so a deficiency could lead to poor energy, slowed growth, and digestive problems. Since this nutrient is found mostly in animal proteins, it's possible to fail to consume enough each day, especially for vegans. If you don't eat dairy products, try plant-based sources such as almonds, spinach, and mushrooms. In addition, a daily B-complex vitamin can help to fill in the gaps. Now, for the supplements I use and recommend check out the first link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch the next videos with health tips which should show up right about now.